Hello ladies and gentlemen. I am out with my buddy Jake and we are sea kayaking on Lake Superior heading over to an island in mid-January to do some camping. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna try some fishing, eat some delicious food. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I feel like it's gonna I, it's gonna ice up less than I thought it was. Now, if you're gonna be doing a trip like this and you're gonna go paddling on uh, Lake Superior in mid-January when it's, the water is just frigid, there's a few things you still want to make sure you have. One is a solid plan in case you flip. Two is a full dry suit, and three is knowledge of how to uh, roll. Uh, in case you flip your boat and you can roll back up. Now we don't have any of those things, so we're just kind of relying on dumb luck. <laughs> now we're not going crazy far on Lake Superior today. Kind of only paddling a mile, mile and a half, two miles right around there somewhere, something. Nothing, nothing insane. We don't want to be on the water, you know, for very long. The weather's supposed to be really nice. We've got a weather radio. We're going to be monitoring it the whole time. If the weather seems like it's going to get windy or anything, we're out of here before it gets crazy. So we're trying to get up in this bay here. We're not sure how much ice is there. We're, uh, you know, right now, there's a strong current that goes in between so this won't get iced up, but these bays, you know, they might be gunked up. And if I'm being perfectly honest with you, there's a chance that uh, we might not even be able to camp out here. We have no idea, we only know that there's not a lot of ice on this shore and it's gonna stay that way, especially with the winds and everything. But up in these bays, around the edges, we did scan a few spots where we might be able to put it on the shore. Uh, there's potential that there's too much ice and we can't get up there and this is just a day trip, day paddle. Never know, but we're prepared for two nights. Prepared for two nights, hoping we get out here. Hoping we get on the island. And I don't think we're gonna be getting in this bay, so we're gonna have to redo our plans here. It's not super thick. Okay. Yeah, but do you want to do that that far? Yeah, dude. And then get frozen in. Tonight? Yeah. Low a seven? <laughs> yeah. Pee you gonna pee? Yeah. Are you crazy? So I'm gonna get up on the ice as far as I can so I can get out. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you have to pee? Yeah, I do. Have to oh pee. man. Yeah. So it looks like we're not going here. Well, I think we're gonna have to head back to the west, eh? You think it'll snake up in there? I don't know. I'm gonna go check it, though. All right. Yeah, you can see we didn't get very close. <laughs> we did, yeah, like I said, we did scan and see a spot around the western corner uh, where we might be able to where there's no ice where we can get to shore. We, pretty much we would like to get to a certain spot to do some good fishing, but uh, if we can't, we're just gonna, you know, pick any old spot we can. Man, is it a beautiful sunny day. Feel like I'm in the Caribbean right now, you know? Just paddling to a tropical island. <laughs> Oh, got the Beach Boys playing, you know? Wouldn't it be nice if we could get to shore? Then we could camp and fish and have so much fun. Wouldn't it be nice if there wasn't so much ice? And then you, maybe you shouldn't go sea kayaking in mid-January. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> 
Oh, man. All right, let's do it. Traveling up the east side. Really hoping there's no ice. <laughs> Side if there is, <laughs> or we can with the boat launch. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, you know, I might as well be fishing. If I'm gonna be paddling all over the place, I might as well drop a line. Try for some fish. The uh, salmon should be biting. We'll see, I don't really expect to catch anything, but if I did, that'd be really cool. I mean, it's probably pretty good fishing. It's a nice sunny day. Uh, it's kind of, it's it's not super cold. It's pretty warm today. I think it's like low 20s. That's pretty, it's pretty average. There's a big ice blockage in the way, and we're just going further and further into the bay. I can see Jake just keep going ahead. I don't know if we're gonna get around this thing. And if that happens, we've got one more chance on the west side of the island to get on shore. And if that doesn't happen, we're going, it's just a day trip. We still might go camping tomorrow, somewhere else, something different, but it'll be too late to uh, get anywhere today. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll park at the truck. Who knows, everything's up in the air. We kinda 50-50 when we started that this would work out. But if one thing's for certain is we're out in the water, and I'm having a grand old time. Jake's up ahead. <laughs> and he stopped paddling. He's just sitting there. <laughs> he looks defeated. <laughs> oh, and he's got to pee real bad. It's, it's really tough getting in these things right now. Wearing your muck boots and all these layers and everything. It's, uh, it's not fun getting in and out. He needed my help. Yeah, yeah, no, we're not, definitely not, I don't think we're going to the east side. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun. Jake's turning around. <laughs> Which means, oh yeah, I can see it now, there's no way we're getting over there. <laughs> Oh, we've got one option left. And Jake might not even want to. He's probably got pee pretty bad. <laughs> oh, this is fun. All right, so to the west side. My bladder hurts. Your bladder hurts? <laughs> Do you need to pull over, dude? Yeah, I have to pull over. Well, we can go right back to where we started quick if you need to pee. Honestly, yeah, do it. It'll take you 20 minutes to pee, and you'll feel a million times better. Well, Jake doesn't have to pee anymore. We can actually make it on the island. It's just, uh, this is not going to be a good spot to camp at all. Not at all. Iceberg right ahead. Crazy looking at shore. And all the water splashing up over the trees. It's shallow here. It's only a couple feet deep, a few feet deep. Well, I guess worst case scenario, I could wade into shore. But yeah, definitely doesn't look like a pleasant area to camp right here specifically. Boy, do I regret putting on all these layers and wearing this tight stuff and this super tight uh, life vest here. PFD. I am uh, warm. I am sweating. 
I had to unzip my jacket a little bit. Unzip it. I feel like I'm a... What is it? Randy from the Christmas story? Where he's just like... I can't feel my arms! <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Oh, jeez. This ain't bad. It looks like we are landing up ahead here. Look at this nice spot. Jake's ready to get out. Be careful there, Slippy. Mr. Slip on the ice before we even get in the boats. Dude, you don't even want to know. I have a wet ass. A wet ass. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, does that feel good? Take it out right. We're gonna get a beautiful sunset tonight. Oh yeah. Hi, coffee? Nice. Awesome. Um, how hot is it? Hot? Yeah. Damn. That thing works pretty good then, hey? Yeah. So we're just gonna sit and absorb the sunlight for a minute. It's nice and warm, nice and toasty. It's a beautiful day. And then we're probably gonna head into the woods there, find a spot a little bit. We've got like an hour and a half of sunlight. And then we're gonna catch, catch the sunset. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna relax for a minute. Finally uh, brought out the little flask of with my logo on it. Ah, uh, since we're docked for the night and the sun's blinding me. Take a little tummy warmer. Okay, so what we're doing is we're just moving a little bit further back along the shore. Uh, we pretty much just chilled there and watched the sun go down and enjoyed the warmth for a good hour and a half. Just maybe not even that, right around there. But we, we've definitely just been relaxing. This trip is more about, you know, I don't get to go do a tropical cruise or anything like that midwinter. Uh, this, is, this is pretty much that. Just a relaxing trip, paddling around, not doing a ton of work. Uh, you know. Keep dragging her up. Creature here. Oh, hold on. Ah, it's frozen as shit. I can't grab it. We'll just drag it from the front. Oh, dude. Shot down my pole there, bud? Dude. Just a little bit. I saved it, though.
Oh, you want? I need to get the garlic too, damn it. Yep, and I need that. Right, I'm gonna get the garlic, and then I'll throw it all in there and get cooking. Making some tacos tonight. We got some venison. Compliments of Jake here. Venison burger? Oh, dude, this is gonna. Yeah, it's gonna be real full. Oh, this fire is so hot. Is it? Yeah. Don't <gasps> Oh, dude. It's so hot. You got leather gloves on? No. Of course not. Fine, I'll put my leather gloves on. <laughs> They're just brand new and I just don't know if they'll work. It's more my They're face. They're leather. What does that mean, Jake? That means they'll protect your <laughs> hands. So we're having some venison pork tacos, huh? I wasn't sure if this was mixed with beef or not. Pork fat. Holy crap is that thing hot. Ah, I can't even get close to it. Garlic. That's a lot. Yep. I don't mind. I like garlic. Great fire. Oh man, that's gonna be good. Is that all we have going in there? Yeah, I cut the bean. Oh yeah, okay. And salsa. What? Oh, okay. We've well. got the venison hamburger all browned up, jalapenos, onions in there. Added the taco seasoning and some water. I'm gonna bring her to a simmer. Add into black beans. Oh yeah. Are you sure we're gonna be able to eat all this, dude? If not, throw it in the salsa bag. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah I guess so. Well, that looks really good. This looks like chili. You don't ever put black beans with your shit? No. But we are this time. Four, because I'm a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm having four tacos. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Just I'm gonna get my spoon covered in avocado, but it doesn't matter. This is like a one time. Ooh, get that. You know what? I'm just gonna load them up. Yeah. I'm making them fancy right now. And then you can have the rest of this. I might only have one or two more. Boy, you're gonna have like seven more. You won't have seven more because I say so. Okay, got these fresh slices of avocado. Oh, it's getting frozen. Frozen avocado. Oh, it's gonna get on my hands. It's a good thing we got the other half here. This didn't work out very well. This is like frozen. Oh, yes. <laughs> for, for, oh, yeah, just mangle it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. So good looking. Mmm. Okay. Got the meat mixture here. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna load these up. That's fine. 
How many more do you think you're having? I don't know. Right now. Yeah. Well, I'll leave at least two more for you. Actually, there's so much here that we're not going to be able to eat this all tonight. Yep, no way. It's okay. I'll just keep some in my sleeping bag tonight so I can eat it at midnight tonight. Yeah. There you go. There you go, dude. Now you're thinking. Okay. Now I'm going to put on some queso cheese. That is right. It's called cheese cheese. Cheese cheese the best kind of cheese. Cheese, cheese. Those are going to fall right apart. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But they look delicious. Put on a little fresh spinach. Oops. Oh, oh. Okay. See, it's not about the, the flavor, you know? It's about the presentation. Just kidding. I'd rather have good good flavored stuff that looks like poop than stuff that looks good and tastes like crap. Z salsa. Oh, you did it the other side. That's okay. I'm just going to like... Lots of salsa. Those are not gonna hold together. Dude, they're holding together. You, you, you just watch, okay? You know? <laughs> yeah, but the tortillas are cold and mine are blowing out. Worst case scenario, this is gonna be my bowl and I'll just eat it off there. <laughs> well, that is some delicious campfire tacos. Let me tell you what, boy. All right. I am about to feast. Oh, dude, there's some weight here. This is way too much food. Dirty. Still off the back side. Really? Oh, man. Okay. Well, let's just see what happens. This is this is too much food, but that's okay. You're right about one thing. They're not holding together very well. Mm. Terrible, hey. Mm. Mm mm. They're so good. Good job murdering Bambi. Mm. That is a. I don't know how many eat all four of these. Hmm. and gentlemen had some fun in the sun ate too much food and I'm ready to pass out now so I'll catch you guys in the morning good night everybody <sighs> Warded. Jake's up got a fire going apparently the ice is shifting so we're not spending two nights out here. We don't want to get stuck, so we're going to try to find a way to get back on the water and head back. So I'm going to get up. Let's do it. See, we've got, this big, we've got this big chunk of ice that moved in from over here. But if you can see, it's open water over there. So we're going to get moving here. Go down here. Probably drag the boats to that open channel, get out to that open water, make our way back. So yeah, we're gonna just pack up here and head back, just do the one-nighter. We might do a day paddle, we're not sure, but 
definitely knew it was a little bit of risk uh, coming out with the moving ice in mid-January. But it was fun. As long as we make it back to the car, it'll be all good fun. <laughs> The what? Oh, okay. We we're off. It's uh, <laughs> the wind's blowing in our face today. It's cold. <laughs> oh, wee. oh, it's cold. It got down to negative 10 last night. Yeah, it was chilly. It was a little chilly. And uh, it's still cold this morning. It's gotta be in single digits still. Wind's blowing right in our face. It's cold, but uh, the channel's opened a bunch. Definitely opened a bunch, so we're fine to get back. But uh, we don't think we're gonna be spending another night out here. It's just, we knew the ice was gonna be shifting around, and you know, it's, it's always a risk, you know, doing this sort of thing. It's not the smartest thing, you know, I, I know that, but uh, yeah, just having that big chunk shift in there and we were thinking of moving further, but we don't think that's such a good idea because the wind's gonna shift by the end of the day, blow ice this way, and the other channel was all blocked up, so this will get all blocked up. So we're gonna we're gonna probably head back while the ends, winds are east, pushing this ice out. And sorry I'm not, you know, this isn't a crazy video or anything. I'm just kinda enjoying it and it's not recording as much. It is what it is. But we'll do some fishing on the way back. I don't need to follow Jake. I can make my own path through the skim ice. Hey, don't break your... <laughs> I think we need to go around. It's getting thick. <laughs> we need to go this way. This is so fun. Oh, what a day, what a day. Sun isn't as warming yet today. It's supposed to get right near freezing, I think above freezing the next, over throughout the day. But it ain't right now. I tell you what, it ain't right now. Looks like this ice goes out pretty far. Worst case scenario, I've, I've had my ax here strapped with a piece of paracord. So we'd have to chop through. It's open water on the other side, but it gets pretty thick, so worst case scenario is we'd have to sit there, chop at the thick skim ice, and make a path, which would take a long time. But it looks like maybe up ahead, we'll be able to get through. We'll see, we'll see. Oh yeah, it looks like we're getting through. We'll just have to go way out. Way, 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 way out. That's okay. That's okay, I'm gonna do some fishing as soon as I get around this ice. On the way back to the car. Oh, well guys, you know, this was a, this trip was a bit of a gamble either way. <coughs> I've got, we've, done, we've only got a mile or two to paddle, not even maybe. But uh, we're gonna get back to the car and we might either go camping at another spot or we're just gonna, you know, head back home. But this was a big game. We didn't even know if we are going to get to spend the night out there. But I'm just going to fish on the way back to the car. And if I catch something, I'll show you. Otherwise, 
that's gonna do it for this one. So, as always guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys at the next video. So it turns out it's skim ice all the way back to the truck.